Hello, I'm the art teacher and here we are at the art studio. Ta-da! In this particular video, we're talking about shape. The art element, shape. The last time I did one, it was about line. This is about shape. So, and speaking of shape, I need to get more into shape, don't I? But I think round is a shape, don't you? Okay. Um, here we have some definitions. I've got my poster here from uh, oh, Crystal Productions. So um, let's use this right now to tell you about shapes. And shape right up here, it says that shape is flat. Yes, it is. Shape is flat and an enclosed area that has two dimensions. It's how wide and how, how tall and how wide. Just two measurements. Or here it has the length and width. The length is how long. The width is how wide. So, but it's very, very flat. So, that's just two dimensions. Two dimensions. And um, we can see shape because either it is surrounded by a line. By the way, a line, an enclosed line. Let's say if you start at one area and you come around and you meet the end or meet the beginning with the end, it creates a shape. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or you can do a shape or see a shape because of a color change or value. And that's how you can see the edges. And sometimes artists do that. For instance, with this picture down here, with these uh, uh, numbers here, very colorful, starts with uh, blues and greens, then it goes to yellows and oranges and reds. This was done by Margot Hoff, and it's called Celebrations. And it was kind of like a collage with acrylic paint, which kind of lets me know that she kind of painted some uh, canvas or papers with uh, colors and then cut them out and then glued them down in some fashion here. So uh, it's a long picture too. But you can see how these shapes were not drawn. You can see them because of the color changes. Okay. Now let's go over here to some nature ones. By the way, um, shape is divided up into two areas. You have geometric shapes, and then you have organic shapes. Organic shapes are like leaves, flowers, people, trees, lakes. Those are called organic shapes. And here you have leaves which are organic shapes. <laughs> And you can see how these are just a photograph of leaves. But when you see this leaf here, you know it's a leaf not because of the drawing, but because of the color change. You see how that works? So that's the, that's the color change there. And you can define the shape of the leaf by simply using different colors. Okay, now I'm going to show you this picture down here. This is a painting using organic shapes. It's uh, cliff shapes, bird shapes, sun shape, rocks, water shapes, cloud shapes. And this was a watercolor by Robert Wood named Flight. And you can tell the cliff here or the side of a mountain, you can tell it because the color changed from the sky. So that's how he's used shapes in this picture. And the one next to it, was done by Donna Berryhill, named Don, and that was actually a collage as well, with painting and other things added to it, and uh, the op name is obviously the person who is um, being painted there. But you can tell the color change here. So sometimes you would use drawings to make your shapes, sometimes you use color changes. Now if you zoom out a little bit, so you can capture but all of this down here, you can see how these shapes are organic and these shapes are <coughs> geometric. Geometric are very precise, regular shapes. Uh, they're squares, circles, triangles, rectangles. I call them math shapes. Geometric shapes are math shapes. A lot of you know them, like circles, rectangles, triangles. You know these shapes. But uh, other shapes, such as people and flowers and such, you're not going to see that so much. Uh, let me go back to my TV so I can show you some 
other artwork that someone else has done, and then we'll get to your assignment really quick. Okay? Here we have an artist named Henri Matisse. Uh, he painted lots and lots of pictures, but in his later life, he had a crippling disease which left him in a wheelchair, as you can see there. And if you're looking at this um, photograph, if you zoom in into the mirror, I can, and uh, you can see that's his bed. He has his work studio in his bedroom. And it was easier for him to do that. But he was not able to paint like he used to. So he changed his style into what's called paper cutouts. Here's one called Marquette de Nouette de Noël. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong because I don't speak French. This was done in 1952. Here's a close-up picture of it here. Very large. And it was done for a church. Now, he just... Now, this is how he did it. Ready? He painted paper. He just painted the paper, whatever colors he wanted. Just solid colors. Then, once they dried, he then cut them out. He cut the shapes out and then glued them down. That's how he did this picture here. So, and some of his uh, um, pictures here were actually changed into stained glass windows. And you can see how this would work for that. Here's one. Can you guess what it is? It was done in 1953. Imagine what animal, what animal this might be. Are you thinking about it? What animal? It's called the snail. Ah, now you're thinking a snail. Now look at it. Can you see a snail in this picture? Once you see the snail, you can't unsee it. Every time you see this picture from now on, you'll see it and you go, ah, that's the snail by Henri Matisse. Here is a picture. I do not see this. It's in a series called Jazz, but it's called The Cowboy. I'm sorry, can't see it. Some of you might. I know, I know, calm down. You can see it, but I can't. That's all right. But it's called the cowboy, and again, same thing. He painted paper. Once they dried, he cut them out and glued them down. This one I actually really like. This is called Horse, Rider, and Clown. There's a, a better picture of it there. Now look at these shapes. Are they geometric shapes? Or are they organic shapes? Mm. I, would, I would have to go with organic because I see a horse. I see these other shapes here. They look very, very organic, like leaves maybe. Um, it's a really cool picture. I like it. I like the colors that really are vibrant. They stand out. Now we're switching to a different artist. Uh, this artist is Piet Modrian. <coughs> And I have an art um, video on him that I did some artwork uh, in his style. He painted this picture himself, self-portrait. Um, this was done back in uh, 1918. 1918. And in this picture, he did this one um, about 1900. So this was a few, uh, about 19 years before... Uh, he did this self-portrait. This is uh, some of his style that he did here. And you can see shapes, right? Very geometric shapes. Rectangle. Rectangle. More rectangles. Triangle shapes. So there's lots of geometric shapes. But do you know, in 30 years, he changed the style of how he painted. It took 30 <coughs> years from changing it. It would be really cool to see the changes. But I'm going to jump ahead. 30 years, this is how he painted. Big difference, isn't it? This is called Composition Red, Blue, and Yellow. And this was done in 1930. So 30 years later, he does a picture like this. And he does most of his pictures just like this. With squares, rectangles, vertical lines going up and down, horizontal lines side to side, and uh, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. That's what he got down to. And ten, uh, about 13 years after that picture, he comes up with this one called Broadway Boogie Woogie. Again, he's just using shapes. Now, the reason I'm telling you um, 
Andre Matisse and Piet Modrian, they did pictures very simply. Simple shapes. Simple geometric shapes. Simple uh, organic shapes. And that's going to be your assignment. Let me see. Here's one I like about um, Andre Matisse again. This is called The Two Dancers. I'm going to zoom in closer so you can see the paper. Can you see the paper right there? You can see it just glued right on it. And it almost looks like there's a button holding it in. Or maybe that's a tack. I don't know. But this is called The Two Dancers. I really like this one. And this one's called The Composition Black and Red. And it says red. It looks kind of pink. But I'm thinking the color faded a little bit. Okay. So now enough of that. Let's go back to the front. Where I am. My intro. There we go. Now if you can zoom back to me. Cameraman. Here is your assignment. It's super, super easy. By the way, if you decide not to do these assignments, it's okay with me. It's, I'm not going to come knocking at your door. I'm not. Just, I'm hoping you have fun. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. You should be having fun doing this. Now, here's how you do it. Do as many as you can, as long as you're having fun. Okay? And make sure that you clean up after yourself. Don't cause extra work for your parents. Okay, do like uh, Henri Matisse uh, or Modrian or both, where you take paper, color paper, and it doesn't have to be construction paper. It can. You could color your own paper and then cut it out. Uh, you could find magazine uh, covers, um, newspapers, all sorts of things, and just cut shapes out. The shapes can be recognizable. Or they can be just shapes. Just make-believe shapes. And then you put them down. Now, before you glue them down, look at it as if it's a puzzle. And see if you can't piece it together and see which way looks the best. And then once you find it, glue them down. Now, that's one way. It's getting colors, papers, and then gluing them down. The other way is make a picture using shapes, but drawing. Drawing them out. And when you combine shapes... When you combine shapes, you can create a new shape. For instance, you can use a bunch of triangles, rectangles, and ovals, and maybe create a dinosaur using these shapes. So, and once you do that, then you can color them in. So, that's the assignment for this video, is to experiment with shapes and see what you can come up with. And again, no stress out. This is a non-stress video here. And if you don't get to it and you're just listening to me and you just heard this and you think, you know, Mr. Garner, I got this. That's fine. That's fine. That's oh, it's okay with me. So those are the assignments. Try them out. Have fun. Take some deep breaths. Relax. And just enjoy yourself. Okay, that's it for me now. And I'll see you next time.